nonetheless, the story of this game is that USC ends up with just shy of 500 offensive yards and just shy of 300 on the ground. That sounds like USC. That does sound like USC. I think it was important for us to come back strong after that Stanford loss, and, and Cal was a great opportunity to do that, and we knew we had, we had to come out fire, which we, which we kind of did. I think the defense played lights out. No touchdown zone! No touchdown! They played awesome on offense. We had uh, a few stumbles, uh, turnovers uh, didn't go our way, and um, but a great way to bounce back from Stanford, I think, just to come out in the Coliseum and get a home victory. I actually enjoy the, the play flights that we have. Uh, I always make my way to the very back of the, of the plane. Uh, it's where some of the coaches are sitting with uh, Coach Kiffin's in the back and uh, sometimes Layla if she decides to travel. Then, I, then Woody and I are right in, in that third to last row uh, in front of Kiff with the other captains on the other side. Most of the linemen are in the back too with, with an empty seat to give them uh, extra space. They always leave a, a first class seat for Monty but he, he never takes it. He always likes to sit back with the players and talk or watch film. <laughs> Well, I think sometimes it's fun to go on the road, you know, hostile crowd, Utah, sellout, you know, at night, ESPN, and the crowd was just rocking, and especially when we, they went at 14 of it, we got really loud. The best part of playing on the road is when you make a big play, it gets quiet. It, as, as if you don't make those plays, it gets louder and louder. Uh, Washington has, has a loud stadium, and it's being remodeled right now, but so, so they're playing where the Seahawks play, which is known as the 12th man in the NFL, and, and they're always bringing it. When you come to SC, when you come to coach here, when you come to play here, you expect that. You know what that's all about, and it gets our guys fired up. Now, this will be a tough game now, because they play really well at home. Coach Sarkeesian recruited me, and I thought I was going to play under him at USC, so I, I like him a lot. Um, we get ideas from them, they get ideas from us. There's a lot of similarities though, you still see it watching Sark's tape, you know, you still see the, the three-step drop and the slant game and the kick protection and I just assumed Sark was somewhere else rather than the Pac-12 because Sark's a good coach and he and Lane still respect each other so much. They talk, they probably talk once a week on the phone. It's kind of hard to stack teams against another where we lost them so and they beat them so we should automatically beat this team. It doesn't work that way. You can't really stack teams up like that with football. I think that's what the beauty of the sport is. Uh, you you, you got to give your all every Saturday knowing that you know it can end up going the other way.